Okay, so there's a timing problem that drummers complain about in church. I've, I've actually had the chance to work with a lot of drummers, a lot of them. And one of the things they complain about is that so many times, singers always sing out of beats. And because they sing out of beats, these singers cause a problem for them who are playing. And you know, one thing happens when you go off beat, the drummer have to rearrange the playing, all right, to suit your new direction. So that means if you are singing a 3-4 beat, for example, and then somehow you miss a beat in the process, he has to recalibrate the beat to get back to you singing on that beat and many times you singers do most time go up beat like four five times in just one praise and worship section or in just one particular song and so the drummers are complaining that why is it that each time some people are singing they are always going up beat and i understand that most of us don't really know what going up beat actually means going up beat means that the song is playing one two three four one two three four one two three four and then you are either entering too early or entering too late or skipping a particular beat this is what we call going up beat so that means if you enter too early you didn't enter at the right time the beat is starting or you're entering too late after the beat has started and this happens a lot in the choir most times you see us singing and then somehow we are entering too late or too early which causes a slow down of the song and it affects the way the song is delivered so the drummers are always saying that you guys are always going up beat but it's solvable first of all how do you avoid going up beat first of all understand the time signature you are singing on when you understand the time you are singing on, it is easy for you to now know how to enter the beat or how to pull out of the beats. For example, we have about three major time signatures in church. One is the 4-4, four, four, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We also have the 3-4, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And we have the 6-8, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, all these time signatures are what the drummers keep to rule when they are playing right so the way they play for you to stay on that sequence you have to understand exactly what time signature they are playing on and so to do so begin to research about time signatures i'll be doing a video on time signatures and beats on one of our classes so you probably get to know how it's done but for now understand that you have to know the different time signatures and how they affect you when you are singing on stage that's one but two listen to the kick of the drummer the kick has a way of letting you know your consistency when it comes to singing because the kick always goes in one direction is that team 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 like your heart beats so listen to the kick but most times you don't listen to the kick we listen to the snare more than the kick or the hi-hats or the rolls no the kick is a guidance to you being on beat so begin to listen to the kick of the drummer so that you will understand exactly where he or she is playing to number three do not stop and pause singing trying to listen to where the drummer is playing to no you also have a time signature if it is four four stay on four four if it is three four stay on three four why because the drummer is also playing that same time signature for you you are not singing to the drummer the drummer is playing to your singing and understanding this will help you stay on your beat accurately whenever you sing so until we see again make sure you are always listening to songs to know how different beats work together to make the song look good